Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Etch App Reviewers. I have some awesome news for those of us uh, that are going to be upgrading to iOS 11.2, which is hopefully all of us. For those of us that have the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, or iPhone 10, we are going to be getting uh, faster 7.5 watt charging from our Qi based wireless charging accessories. So, uh, for example, the Mophie charger that you can pick up at the Apple Store or the Belkin one that's at the Apple Store, uh, both of those are supported by this. And basically, what it's going to allow you to do is it's going to bump you up from the 5 watt current charging speeds up to 7.5 watts. Now, before we get too deep into this, I want to give a quick overview of wireless charging uh, and how it works for your phone. So right now, if you set your iPhone 10 on a wireless charger uh, and it starts charging, that obviously means it's Qi based, which is good, um, which by the way, there are Qi certifications, which I didn't really know about, but we'll get to that in a second. But anyways, you set your phone on it, it's charging at five watts. However, because it's wireless, some of the energy in between is dissipated as heat and doesn't all get to the battery. So you're not really getting a full five watts uh, like you would from the standard wall brick. So wireless charging on your iPhone currently is not as fast as plugging it in per se. It's close, but it's not quite as fast. However, once Apple bumps this up to 7.5 watts, your iPhone is going to be allowed to obviously take in more energy, which could generate more heat, which is not good for the battery, but it will also charge faster. Some say that this will actually be faster than the five watt uh, charger that you plug in. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. It might be slightly faster, uh, but obviously wireless charging is convenient unless you want to use your phone while it's charging. That's a different story. So, uh, but overall, this is going to be a great change for those of us that use wireless chargers uh, that want a little bit faster charging because as we know, five watt wireless charging is not the fastest. So let's get into some of the uh, details here. Again, like I mentioned, there is Qi certifications for different chargers that you guys can look into. Not all uh, wireless chargers are Qi certified, apparently. Uh, I didn't really know that before, but I was looking into it and it looks like, kind of like how MFI certifications are, there's Qi certifications, so you guys can look at that so they've got some statistics here on the differences in the wattages and how quickly the battery went up. But really all that you need to know is that um, it's going to go up to seven and a half watts, which is gonna be great. Now, one thing I did read on Amazon, one of the sellers said that 7.5 watts was not going to be coming to the third party chargers. You'd have to get you know, either the Mophie or the Belkin to take advantage of this. I don't see any proof of this necessarily uh, other than maybe that seller just didn't want uh, to have an up to seven and a half watt charger so they could have cheaped out but as, as you can see here several other chi based wireless charging accessories from other third-party manufacturers also support the higher speeds such as the rav power fast wireless charger uh, but there are accessories out there that don't so you want to look for the seven and a half watt charging speeds listed uh, so anything i think above seven and a half watts should um, support this but I will also try to link you to this Rav Power one if I can find it on Amazon for a good price because I know you guys want the best price you don't really want to spend $60 on a wireless charging base Mophie charging base I will say I've been using it it is great um, the reason I didn't like my original one I think it was actually a Rav Power um, was because it made like a clicking noise the Mophie actually makes it as well but it's much much less so if I put my ear up to it while it's charging it's like a very faint ticking noise however the rav power one just seemed way way louder um, and obviously i could not sleep with it next to my bed while charging uh, it just was too loud for me but uh i don't know your mileage may vary on that because some people said that theirs did not do that so maybe i got a defective unit but it was about 50 50 on that but if you want to be safe go with the mophie uh, it's a really good solid wireless charger that will be supporting the seven and a half watt charging speeds. So this is awesome news. Once iOS 11.2 drops, I think it's gonna be a great update. I will be keeping you guys in the loop. My predictions for iOS 11.2, I think it will be out before the end of November. So we shall have to see about that. But that's all I got for this video, guys. If you liked it, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.